Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a video for you today on a triple knife system. And this one is going to Lynn down in... Oh, geez. Buddy, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting where everybody's from and I didn't write anything down for notes today. So I'm a little bit lost, but I want to say South Carolina, Louisiana. I know it's a southern state. That's all I got. So if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. And uh, anyway... Uh, Lynn asked me if I could build a sheath for three very specific knives that he had seen on another system that I had built. So if you guys recall, um, probably two months ago now, I built a system that I called the, the Kydex Survival Fob. And it was three knives. It was a Becker BK-9, a Topps Bob uh, Fieldcraft knife, and a Topps MSK and both the Bob and the MSK were breakaways so that means that they could pull off of the mother sheath if you will and they have their own carry system set up and ready to go I think the MSK was on an ulti clip and the Bob was on its own dangler and then the Bob and the primary sheath also shared a breakaway dangler meaning you could separate the dangler apparatus from the sheath itself um, so and then the overall sheath also carried on a sling it just it had every attachment on it it was a beast of a sheath um, so Lynn contacted me and he asked me if I could um, if he could pay me to buy the the knives themselves send me the money to buy the knives and then build a system for the three of them he didn't want it to be a breakaway he didn't want the extra attachments or accessories he just wanted it to be a Baldrick system that carried those three knives uh, he likes digital camo and and uh, orange so I assume he'll probably be taking this out as a hunting sheath but this is what I came up with for him so by necessity the other one was set up a little bit differently but this is how I would ideally have the three knives configured if I were building a sheath to carry for myself so this is how I did it I think this is a, a really good way of doing it because it keeps oops, sorry it keeps everything really low profile you can see that nothing is like sticking off the edges. I think it looks really sleek. And um, as far as the width of it goes, that's really not that bad. Um, you know, obviously this is not gonna conceal. It's gonna carry over your shoulder as a Baldrick system. Um, so I'm not too, too concerned with getting this to be any narrower. That's how wide it is. I would say, I me, mean, I know this is obviously a super approximate measurement, but it's about two inches wide at its widest point. That to me is a, a very acceptable uh, margin when you're dealing with stacking three knives on top of one another. So, um, all right, let's get into it. So first we have the colors. This is, I believe I went with Forest Digital Camo AOR2 and AOR1. Or Desert Digital Forest Camo AOR1, Desert Digital AOR1. I'm not really sure. But these are both uh, good digital military camos. I think they're really nice looking. And then I used the orange, obviously, on the bob in the middle. And the orange to complete the rings, the attachments for the sling to connect to. The one on the back, I actually had to build a little plate that comes up and allows you to attach so that it would be up here this high. Otherwise... I would mold another piece up and over the primary sheath and have an outcrop on it that you could plug your hardware into and hold the D-rings there. Um, so this is just an alternative to that. It is pretty strong uh, as you're carrying it. It's very secure, very comfortable. I am using an EMP TAC sling, which uh, I started buying recently. They're a pretty good price, good quality. I really like how versatile they are. They have a bungee on one side. You can see here. Oh, maybe you can't see. It's got a very long bungee on one side of the sling, so it's very comfortable. Uh, I'm impressed with the quality, especially for the price. So I'll probably keep uh, buying these, using them as my one of my go-to slings. I still really like Eagle Rock gear as well. Uh, but in any event, you got the tops MSK. It's got a nice draw on it there. The tops bob, nice and smooth draw there. And this guy, the Becker BK9. And this one has a very smooth draw as well. So 
I'm very, very pleased with how these came out. And I would love your opinion on this. I think this system is, uh, is a great option for three, three knives for various tasks. There's not a lot you can't do with these three knives out in the woods. So um, I would love your opinions on this. And let me know what you think of each one of these. Uh, particularly interested in your opinion on the Bob. This is one of my favorite knives. I think it's an excellent bushcrafter. Possibly a great EDC knife as well. And uh, maybe chime in of the uh, BK2, BK7, and BK9. Those are the, the three most popular ones. Which one's your favorite and why? Obviously, they're different sizes, so they've got different purposes, but we all have our favorites. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think of this, and I appreciate the feedback. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting to say something that I should. I'll regret it later, keep me up at night, etc. etc. But alright guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you tuning in and stick around for the next one. God bless.